Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be shopping for a MacBook, laptop, something to edit videos on. I figured this video would help a lot of people that just get started. You might not know what, you know, laptop to look for. I'm going to help you out today. So let's look at Amazon. We're going to start here and see what we can find. Usually when I shop for a laptop, I look for certain specs. One of those specs are going to be 16 gigs of RAM. Now this could be PC or Mac, but I mean, if you have an iPhone, you might as well just get a MacBook, honestly. For video editing, Photoshop, all those kind of stuff, I feel like the MacBook is much stronger. I'm gonna show you why. So let's go to Amazon. We're gonna type in MacBook Pro. I like a small MacBook, nothing too big. The 16, I feel like it's too big. You might as well get a desktop. The 13 is, is you know, perfect for traveling. So I'll go to 13 inch and I'll type in 16 gigs. So the 16 gigs of RAM, that's going to help you to work in Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, all at the same time. And that's why the laptop I have right now is so valuable to me because even though it's old, it has 16 gigs of RAM and that helps me to use all of my programs at the same time seamlessly. And that's what you're going to need if, well, if you're doing what I'm doing, for sure. So let's see what Amazon has. I'll tell you right now, like if you're looking for laptops to really handle multitasking and stuff like that, don't pick up an 8 gigabyte. Don't even do that. And it's 16 and above, it's perfect. So here I see an Intel Core i5. This is a bit older. I would personally go for i7 just so I have a little bit more cores to work with, seeing that we're going to work in a lot of different apps. So maybe this one over here, this doesn't look too bad. It's an i7. 13 inch, 6 gigs. Now, the hard drive space, I would say minimum 500, but 256 is kind of okay. Reason being is you should opt out and get a an external hard drive and put everything on that. And I'll touch on that video if you want to know, you know, the best external hard drive to go with. I also have a video on that. Be sure to check that out. But 256, preferably 500, you know. So let's look for something in that range. Let me get a one terabyte here. Yeah, th this is a good one. One terabyte. It's an i5 though. It's still good to get started. It's still good. But I would, me personally at this point, I have an i5 now. So I would go for i7 or M1, M2. But if you're just getting started and you just want something solid to start with, that would take you a long way. You can get an i5, um, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, this one, I have one terabyte space. So bang it straight out the gun so i would probably even i would go for this one or yeah this 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 the perfect one right here so i5 16 gigs 500 ssd i would go for either either one of them so we have like three already that we could probably go with if you don't want to go exactly for the m1 m2 now if you're going for those and you're trying to get those at 16 gigs and with the highest specs, you're gonna spend some bread. So you gotta consider your budget also. So if you wanna spend less than a thousand dollars and you wanna pick up a laptop that could help you, you know, get some solid editing done, these are my choices. I would go for either this, this one here, or this one here. So just depending on you know how you feel, I'll go ahead and pick up one of them. But anything above that definitely can do the job, but just considering budget. You're spending less than a thousand dollars these are going to be like some perfect choices to get to help you get started so if you find this video helpful be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and i'm out